Drama Critics Circle Award, Best Musical, A Chorus Line. Who am I anyway? Am I my resume? So many faces all around, and here we go. I need this job. Oh, God. Schubert Theater. The reason for the lines outside the theater? The line inside the theater. There's Cassie. And Richie. Give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball, yeah. And Val. Orchestra and balcony. What they want is what you see. And Mike. That I can do. They're all part of a chorus line. What? Best thing that ever happened to Broadway. What I call hot theater. You know how you feel when you get a gift. moments about a chorus line. It's about dancers auditioning trying to get into a chorus line. During the audition, which is the show, the audience gets to know much about the dancers, much about themselves, and much about the American musical theater. A chorus line's major creative force from before it opened first off-Broadway, six-time Tony winner Michael Bennett. It opened at the Newman, and it got wonderful reviews, and they said, well, you know, this this is too inside, too show busy. I don't know whether it'll work on Broadway. Then it opened on Broadway, and they said, well, it's a very New York show. It'll never open on the road. And then it played 102 cities in America. And they said, they won't understand it in England. It's too American. So then it played England. It played Australia. And they said, it'll never translate. And then it worked in Japan and in Spain and in Germany. And a chorus line is also played in Puerto Rico, Canada, Central America, South America, and is soon to open in Austria. The American Cities it has played fills five of these pages from A for Akron, Ohio to Y for Youngstown, Ohio with Paducah, Biloxi, Kalamazoo, and many, many more in between. In America alone, a chorus line has played live before 22 and a half million people. All this for a show that some people said was too inside. Obviously it wasn't. A chorus line first went public before Broadway in April of 1975 at downtown Manhattan's public theater, home of the New York Shakespeare Festival. The festival's producer is Joseph Papp. Joseph Papp is a chorus line's producer. You realize we're, we're, we're sitting on the very stage. This is it. The very stage, this particular stage, where a chorus line was. The first steps, tentative steps were taken. You know, I heard, I heard hours and hours of tapes on uh, uh, these people talking about their lives. Right. And it was the most moving kind of material. This, this began to deal with their lives. So you began to see real people dancing. And uh, that made it even much more uh, powerful, I think, to understand that. In July of 1975, a chorus line moved uptown to Broadway, and it has been there kicking them high for more than eight years. The casts have changed again and again, but most have not strayed far from the theater. Original cast member Tommy Walsh has won two Tony Awards for directing and choreographing. Original cast member Michael Stewart is a producer of the Broadway hit Nine, whereas Marianne Black of the National Company has gone on to produce One. Still, though the cast changes, there is an unchangeable, unshakable staff. Among them, Betty Maxwell has been leading people to their seats for a chorus line since its Broadway opening. Costume designer Theone Aldridge has won many awards and costumed many a show, including her current lavish work for both Dreamgirls and La Cage Falls. 
I will miss this one very much. This one is all... Alice Gilbert runs the show's wardrobe, along with doing laundry, sewing, and ballet shoeing. Alice is also the show's long-running resident mother confessor. The idea of what is a good musical, what's a good dancer even, is going to be very much judged by what is there. And I, that's one of the reasons why it's so important for us to keep chorus line clean and sharp and bright and well danced. You come here for a moment and listen to them sing what we do for love, and I know why I'm here. So it's a sad moment and a great one, too. <laughs> Donna and Helen to help us unveil the plaque. Yay. <laughs> now before we remove, before we remove this very famous skirt, <laughs> it's always last one. <laughs> we dedicate, we dedicate this plaque in memory and in honor of Michael Bennett and all of the wonderful, wonderful, Yay. special people who have been associated with the chorus line who are no longer with us. And in tribute to anyone who has had any part of the 15 years of, the cor of a chorus line at the Schubert Theater. Thank you. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah.